Mm, God, Link, have you just been standing out in the rain between? God, crazy. Hello, everyone. Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 34 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker. And we need to get out of this rain, man. Link's just been standing out here for days on end, and he's probably pretty well saturated by now, I'd say. Let's see. I don't even really need to be killing these guys. Like, I don't really need the chew jelly, all things considered. But you know, it's fun to get. Nice to collect. And, um, I was gonna say something. I don't know. We've only got, like, a little bit more explorating to do on, Elsa on Outset Island before we go see Jaboon. I'm not even sure I really want to do this, but I think I think I thought I'd at least talk to Orca to show what happens here. Mm. I am alright. Yeah, man. It's been a long time since I saw you. T did we not tell him about Errol? Serious? I forgot. Good lord. Well, I guess he's just... He's not really that important. I mean, look at his gut. Uh... A little more daring these days. You haven't even... <laughs> I've just been standing... Does putting my hands on my hips justify a more daring stance or something? Show me how much you've improved your sword skills. Uh, I can't right now because that would take a little too long and it would be a little too boring, so... Uh, this is all I can do for you, I'm afraid. Of course, I will always be happy to face off against you. So that's something for a little later, um... Basically, you can, like, face off against him, like, with the sword, and if you get a certain amount of hits on him, then he'll give you, like, rupees, and at some point he gives you a piece of heart, too. But if he gets three hits on you, then it's, like, game over, so you gotta be a little bit crafty with that. And, uh, other than that, there's really not much else to do on outset, so might as well just traverse to where Jaboon is. Because we gotta get that third pearl so we can end this nasty-ass rain and nighttime and... Wow, that was that was a nice transition. We must search for the cave around the back set back side of outset where Jaboon is said to hide. Yep. Oh, you got a big nose. All right. And it's not going to be this great monumental search for like some tiny ass little cave on the side of a cliff or something. Don't worry. It's actually pretty easy to see if you just come around here, and eventually. Oh, not one of these things. Crap, have we seen a whirlpool yet? I totally forget. Well, let's put that away, because that just looks stupid in this. We got this crazy music going, too. And, uh, there's the giant stone slab! It's really not, uh... It's really quite... Covert, isn't it? I was trying to think. That's not even the word I wanted to use there, but I was trying to think of a different word. And, yeah, basically this is all you gotta do. It does more damage to, like, or it takes fewer hits if you hit the section that you're trying to, like, knock down. Like, see, I'm trying to hit, knock down the middle section now. Like, you can hit the bottom section and it'll still, like, damage the doorway. But it will fall faster if you, uh, hit the spot that you're actually trying to knock out. If that makes any sense. And you can't hit it from the very far side of the whirlpool. Unfortunately, from pretty much anywhere else you can, but it's easier to just wait until you're, like, up close like this. There we go. And I guess that lets the water flow naturally again. Whatever. Alright, and finally, after so much teasing with Great Fish Isle and the mighty destruction, we get to see just who Jaboon really is. I always love this cave, by the way. It's got a really nice aura about it, especially in the walls. Mm. Hey, what's up, bro kid? Long time no see. Well met indeed, Jaboon. I am pleased to see that you are safe. Bitch, please, you knew I would be. So why are you here, anyways, dog? It's about that motherfucking Ganon, ain't it? Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. Well, that blows more than my buddy, Moby Dick. By the way, I heard you like chicken nuggets. Unfortunately, that is not so. Well, fuck. Hey, who's that little man? You're back anyways. The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. And yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. Courage? Ha! You really want me to trust this little thing back with the pearl? I do. It is the only way. Well, I can't say I agree with you, whack ass. Let's just waste my cheeseburger space anyways. Here, take, take the damn paperweight. Oh! And there it is. 
Well, that was a bit of a weird conversation to segue into this, but okay. If you say so, Jaboon, you got the Nairu's Pearl! The Water Spirit Jaboon was kind enough to give you this jewel. Perfect. God, look at his big bulgy eyes there. I, I also thought that was the weirdest camera angle right there. Well, now again, it's curses, bro. What say you and I play a game of hopscotch real quick? So, that foul rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. Just, Just answer the damn question, question, you asshole! I believe I have, with my haughty head held high. Well, there's no need to be rude about it. Smell you later, bitch. And that's exposition for you. And Jaboon will never be seen again, unfortunately. He's a kind of cool character. Ganon's curse has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jaboon gave us, so... <laughs> but, but Jaboon! Are you ready, Argon? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Yeah, we're gonna have to check that. I think I have a treasure chart that I need to open too while I'm at it, so we might as well kill two birds with one stone there. Hmm. Oh no. Well, that can't be too much of a threshold to overcome, can it? Really? Let's see. Not have any regrets later? Yeah, I'm so gonna regret not doing anything on an island I can just come back to. Alright, so Southern Triangle Island, Eastern Triangle Island, and we can assume this is Northern Triangle Island. Those are the three spots we have to go for our pearl, whatevers. And let's see here, um... Uh, oh, here's the Triforce chart we got, by the way. This map must be interpreted before you can read it. Yeah, that sucks. I don't know, I might try to do something with that, I don't know. Do I have a treasure chart? Apparently not. Okay. Fine by me. God, can I navigate this for anything? Alright, so other than that, now you basically have free reign to sort of do whatever you want. I mean, logically, you're supposed to act you're supposed to go to those islands and, uh, like, unlock the next big thing. But there's a whole lot of other crap you can do, too. Not much on outside island, actually. Oh, by the way, uh, something I think I should bring up really quick is that I found out, uh, you know how we got the hand-me-down tingle tuner in the last episode? From this quest on outside island? Uh, well, I figured out what that actually does, is that it allows you to buy bombs and bait, and I think arrows too, once you get the bow, uh, from, like, anywhere. So you don't have to go to Beetle Shop Ship or any other kind of shop to buy those, which is kind of nice. Okay guys, I mulled it over a little bit and I decided that there's really nothing urgent that I want to get done side quest wise. So I think we are just going to go ahead and move to put those pearls on the island. So that's that I guess. I'll meet you at the first one. Which is just a few squares northeast of here. I'll probably stop at this island on the way too just to see. Okay guys, we're encroaching upon our next island here. I think it's Shark Island. I'm not totally sure. Uh, it sounds right. I guess we'll find out once we talk to the merman, though. And, uh, I'm pretty sure there's nothing we can do here aside from maybe getting a blue chew jelly, but I figure I might as well show it off just as a kind of little teaser for next time we come here when we can actually do everything. Uh, oh, there's also this, uh, Deku scrub over here. You're gonna have to know the locations of all these guys, but we'll go over that later. Alright. Yeah, so there's not much we can do about this at the present moment. It kind of looks like just a little nipply thing rising up from the ground. I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's a shark eye. To reach Southern Fairy Island. Okay. Well, at least it's not head south to reach Southern Fairy Island. Because you know that we've already seen that redundancy on Tingle Island sign. Alright, uh, this you can hit, but it doesn't really do much. Basically, the whole idea of this island is you have to activate, like, four switches all at the same time. I think I think this might tell you that, actually, if you read this rock. Let's see, you must activate all four switches on this island. You must activate them all swiftly. Danger will visit all who fail to heed my warning. The seer. The SW Potchit. Potchit? Hmm. Oh man, it got really dark all of a sudden. What's going on? I can't see! Well, I can't see anything. It's too dark. And there's a switch here. That one's pretty easy, but naturally we have to activate all the other three at the same time, so... And, uh, I think the blue chew jelly is actually up there, but I don't think we can get up there right now, so... Uh, actually, we might be able to, because, hold on, let me just make sure. Oh no, you know, that's also something that gets activated by the switches. Basically, if you hit all four switches at once, uh, the fire here goes out, and one other thing happens. Oh, what is this? 
So first we had the little nipplet, and then now we have this bigger nipplet. Or maybe it's a bone sticking out, I don't know. Either way, uh, let's go see the merman, though. Oh, pay that cyclone to mine, by the way. You might have noticed that. Just a little bit. It's kind of distracting. Alright, where is this merman, though? Yeah, fishy, fishy, fishy. 